All right, guys, so I'm jumping straight into the last part of the video, so or last part of the series. So basically, we've installed Elasticsearch, we've installed Wazoo Manager, and we've installed FileBeat. We've put all the search in their corresponding places, and then now we're going to do Kibana. All right, so I'm gonna hop, I'm already back on my uh, server, too. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to LS and make sure that I didn't leave behind any search.tar files. Uh, you don't want those... Um, you don't want those search.tars to get left anywhere that they shouldn't be. So I'm going to remove it from here. And then I'm going to remove it from my home directory as well. All right. And then the way you can verify that is you can do a find and then iname. And then you can go ahead and specify if you're looking for search.tar. And then that way it will find any, any remaining tar files you might have left behind. But realistically, they should only be either in your home directory, in your root directory, in your... Uh, Elasticsearch slash uh, Elasticsearch slash search directory or file beats um, and that should be it so as long as they're not in any of those places you should be good to go so I'll let that run and then same thing on your first server but anyway before we start searching for that stuff I'm gonna go ahead and run through your Kibana install Alright, so at the bottom of the page after you get done installing FileBeat, you're going to see Kibana where it says installing Kibana. So I'm going to basically, I clicked on that link and I'm, on, I'm picking up right where the Kibana is at the top on the Wazoo documentation. And again, we've already added the Wazoo repository, so I'm going to skip that. And then I'm going to straight into installing Kibana. Alright, so first thing I'm copying is, uh, is app get install open distro for last search Kibana. And so I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. And I'm going to do attack Y. And again, that's going to take just a minute to download and install. So give that a second. And it looks like we're good to go on our second server. There's no more search.tar. So at this point, you're done with your second server or your or your whatever your second set of nodes are. As we're done with that. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. Exit out of that. And we're going to wait for Kibana to finish installing. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is download the Kibana configuration file and hit enter. And then we're going to nano the Kibana configuration, Kibana.yaml file. All right, for a for a all-in-one non-distributed, uh, you, you don't really want to mess with this. Uh, for the distributed, you do need to mess with this. So uh, you need to come in here and tell Kibana. Now, this is personal preference, but the recommendation is to basically listen on all interfaces. And then right here, have you, uh, since you have multiple Elasticsearch nodes, you're going to bracket or open bracket and then open quote. And I'm going to go ahead and backspace all this and add my IPs in. All right. And then you're going to close quote and then put your comma there and then go ahead and copy this guy and then right click next to it. And it's just going to replicate that and then make sure you change this to your second node IP or second server IP and then you're going to close bracket it and then everything else should be good to go so we're going to leave that there so go ahead and do a control O if you're in nano do a control O if you're in nano and then go ahead and write those files and then control X to exit out <clears throat> excuse me and then we're going to go ahead and scroll down to number three where it says uh, create the data directory so I'm going to go ahead and do a line by line with that just to make sure that takes correctly so we're doing uh, make directory uh, user share Kibana data, and then we're giving Kibana ownership of that directory. And then scroll on down. Uh, next is install the Wazoo Kibana plugin. So we're going to change the directory to the user share data Kibana. I'm oh, sorry, user share Kibana. And then we're going to go ahead and download the plugin for that. Give that just a moment. And then everybody's favorite thing, we're going to go ahead and alias. That last uh, that last node for Kibana. After this gets done extracting. All right, so we're gonna go no no name and then remember if you if you look back on my last search video that I made for the distributed cluster, all you're gonna do is come in here and do uh, no name and then you're gonna make it whatever you did for your instances file. So real, real quick, I'm gonna go back to that just in case you missed it. So right here, if you do ls and then do uh. Etsy, God, I'm drawing a blank on that at the moment. But anyway, instances.yaml. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up again. See, it's getting late in the afternoon. So I do cat. And then here's your here's basically your instances configuration. 
and then right here it says Kibana server. So right now here we're going to go ahead and do we're going to do node underscore underscore name equals Kibana server, and that's just a reference if you forgot what you uh, named your nodes. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and follow suit with the rest of it. So once again, we're going to do copy, and then we're going to do um, well. You know, actually, I've done this a few times so far. Now we got to make directory first. So we're making our service directory under Kibana, and then I'm going to do copy, and now I'm just going to copy it straight from the root. Search.tar to Etsy Kibana uh, certs, and then once again, I'm going to go ahead and change the directory to to change directory to the actual directory. And then I'm going to go ahead and untar just the search that I need. And then once again, you'll see where it has Kibana server key and Kibana server.pim. So uh, once again, we're just going to go ahead and move and rename those. And then uh, here's something important. We're going to go ahead and say give Kibana ownership of everything in the search directory. All right. And then Right here it says remove search.tar, so yeah, you can do that. I mean, go ahead and ls just to see if they're there, which they should be, and then go ahead and remove it, and then ls again, verify that it's gone. And then <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and jump in here and do this real quick. It shouldn't take but a second. The only place it should be is under root. And hopefully it's not anywhere else. I shouldn't. I think I've already deleted from the Elasticsearch search folder. I'm gonna double check just in case. Yep, it's not there. Okay. All right. So next we're gonna go ahead and do uh, number six says link Kibana's socket to privilege port 443. So we're just gonna copy that, paste it in there. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and start it. And this would be the almost the finale. All right. So I started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a web browser. Now I'm going to navigate to the IP address. So it's going to be 10.1.1. .1 .1. Oh, it decides to catch up. There it is. Dot 42. Well, I'm running on a remote host, so it's a little slow. All right, and then you should be getting a warning, potential security risk ahead, which we know is just an unsigned cert. All right, and then basically you're in. So we'll let that load real quick. And this is the same at this point. Everything's the same as the uh, all-in-one. Um, if I didn't mention it in the all-in-one deployment for uh, uh, for Wazoo, basically there's a tool that you can use to uh, to change your passwords, and I will show you that in a moment. But this right here is what you should see, guys. And anytime, anytime you want to check, uh, you can always go back to the Wazoo documentation. You can always check your node or check your, uh, your, your check your wazoo cluster or you can check your last search cluster whatever the case may be and all this is right here is just updating things or creating things if it if it's not already there but uh like i said what this allows is for you to have redundancy scalability etc and, and and again I've, I've always um i've always given wazoo credit for everything because uh, this is an extremely good platform for host intrusion detection and uh, i enjoy using it Anyway, guys, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. Again, thank you for all the support that I get on this channel. This is purely educational. Uh, I've had those moments where I'm just like, man, what, what do I do next? And and th this is where that's at, is that saying, hey, if you're stuck on something, hey, here, here's the next step to take. And um, anyway, guys, again, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to. Uh, if Again, if you have any, any concerns, just put them below. And thanks, guys. Y'all have a good weekend.